Hey, what's going on guys? It's Riley, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to find diamonds. So this is obviously just for you people that, you know, may be a little new to Minecraft, don't know how to exactly to find diamonds yet. You know it's down deep in the surface, but you don't know exactly how the best way it is to approach finding them. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. And first of all, you want to start out by just digging a staircase all the way down to bedrock. Which if you don't know what bedrock is, it's an unbreakable block. No matter how long you try to break it, it won't break. So that's how like you can't just break your way out of the world and just die and fall into a void. So first you want to, like I said, dig a staircase down. So all you do is do this and slowly progress all the way down to the bottom of the earth. So you just, you, um, you dig three times down like that and then jump down. And that's just how you do your staircase, just like that. Super easy. So I actually created a staircase all the way down already, just to save some time right over here. It's actually a little hidden if I was standing here, you know, you couldn't even see it. But uh, it's right down here, so let's just run down here, and unfortunately I'm going to keep smacking my head because I did not make this uh, another block tall so this wouldn't happen. But, you know, if you're, uh, too, if you're lazy like me, you definitely don't want to dig one more higher because it actually takes a lot longer to do. But as you can see, we're almost down there. It's all the way down there. You know, almost there. I don't know why I said all the way down there if we're about to make it there. But then once you hit bedrock, you want to dig all the way around until you find the highest point of bedrock. So the highest point, as you can see, is definitely this bedrock right here. So you want to... Whoa, that was weird. Some crazy lag right there. You want to stand on the highest bedrock and then jump up twice. And then from there, you can either make a room like this, hollow it out, and make different tunnels, which I'll just show you guys a little mini preview version of that. You don't have to do this, but it's nice if you want to keep your minds all um, nice and, I don't know, organized, I guess you could say. So, you know, you make a room like this, and then you light it up, and then you just make pathways. So, actually, I'm going to uh, need to expand this out a little bit more in order to, whoa, <laughs> in, order, in order to show you guys exactly how the best way is to approach finding diamonds. Because there is a little bit of um, a difference, and it does help a lot more if you do it this way. Alright, I think we should be able to do it now like this. Um, yeah, okay, this, this works. Technically, it's still not even. But you want to make it so you go down, let's remove that, so you go down mines so you don't see the same block twice. So you know, you would do this, so you would see this block here and this block here when you're mining, and then you wouldn't mine here, because if you did, you'd be seeing the same block again, so then you'd want to do it here. Oh, actually, it is even, never mind. So yeah, that, that's how you would do it, so you just dig down and hopefully find diamonds. Now we'll do that for a little bit just to see if we can find diamonds. You could be really lucky and find it right away, or it might take a while. So we'll see here. If it's quick, you know I won't speed this up or cut or anything. But uh, yeah, we'll see. So if I'm not speeding the video up right now, we're cutting, then I'm probably going to find diamonds soon actually, which is awesome. Because uh, diamonds are awesome. I hate that when people build with diamond blocks though. Ew, it's so ugly. I tell you, I hate when people do that. Alright, come on. Come on, I'm feeling lucky. Maybe not. Come on. You know you want to give me the diamonds. Oh! Oh! That wasn't bad at all, actually. Alright, so let's farm these out. Let's see how many we got. Now, you want to make sure... Mm. Ugh, just almost like wanted to cough there, but I held it in. So let's just dig around and see how many diamonds there actually is before we mine it out. So it seemed, wow, this is a lot actually. Uh, one, five. Okay, well, that's a, still a decent haul. Wait, that's five, right? One, two, three, four, yeah, five. Uh, the max amount of diamonds I think is eight or nine. I believe it's eight, but, you know, I could be wrong. I think it might be able to go to nine. But it seems like this is five. Oh, da, uh, the lava! <laughs> Not a good thing. So anyway, once you mine out the whole area and you see that there's no more veins of diamonds kind of connecting or anything, then, you know, just mine it up and you got your sweet old diamonds right here. And also, redstone is a higher chance that you'll find diamonds. If you see redstone, it means diamonds have a higher chance of spawning next to it. So that's just a little tip if you guys didn't know that. 
And if you keep running into lava like this, you could mine up into the lava like this, and it could possibly give you a cave system, or you could find more diamonds over here, because uh, diamonds can spawn in lava a little more frequently, but not much. So it seems like there's actually somewhat of a cave system over there, so that's something. Definitely could explore that late, later. Blah. But if you really just don't want to do that and you want to continue your straight path, you could either just start another one like this, or you could, uh, you know, just get lava buck, I mean, a water bucket and just make it all obsidian. But that's basically how you find diamonds, guys. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope this helped you out. If you're new, don't forget to click that subscribe button. That would be much appreciated. Maybe a like if this helped you out, like I said. Um, but until next time, see you guys later.